Hello everyone, Professor Money Peak Trading. Today, January 5th, 2023, Happy New Year again. We're going to talk about an interesting trading and investment opportunity that is to, going to happen tomorrow, on January 6th. FDA is going to make a decision on Biogen's and Isaiah, their Alzheimer's drug, Lakemab. And this is a binary event. If got approved, we're going to see potentially a really big move to the upside on these two stocks. And if not, these two stocks are probably going to pull back quite a bit as well. So let's take a look. Real quick disclaimer, currently holding BIIB stocks and long code and put options. Do not represent any pharmaceutical company. Any medical questions, please consult your doctor. And also not financial advisor, please invest at your own risk. So Biogen, a ticker named BIIB, founded in 1978, based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, it's a pharmaceutical company that's been here for a while, about 40 years, focused on development of therapeutics for the treatment for neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's. Uh, if you're not familiar with Alzheimer's, it's basically a really serious neurological disease that um, patients can uh, lose their memory, and when the disease progresses, uh, they will start to uh, lose control of their body. Uh, so it's a really serious disease uh, that currently don't have any effective treatment, except uh, there's a drug that's also uh, produced and developed by Biogen called Duham, uh, which is not very effective, actually. Uh, so any breakthrough here could be tremendous uh, business opportunity, also good uh, news for uh, patients and their families and doctors. So there's a really big news coming out tomorrow on the FDA decision. So uh, this Lakem map uh, actually released uh, some positive phase three trials uh, back to September last year. And you can see on the left side, BIIB daily chart uh, jump all the way from $200 to about 280 and pull back. Uh, to the 260 level, forming a bull flag and push out to all-time high 311 uh, last year, and start to pull back to uh, back to uh, current day two, uh, 270. Uh, pretty much the same thing for ICR daily chart. This two stop pretty much just moved together. Uh, you can see the price action pretty much is image from BIB. Uh, so basically, Bio Biogen's actually produced the first one of the first Alzheimer's drug called Duham. Uh, that's back to <clears throat> uh, 2021 uh, when the FDA actually announced to get approved. I was totally shocked because the phase three clinical trial for this Aduham was actually not very impressive. Nobody expected it will get approved. Uh, so I didn't even buy a lotto. And what happened is that date approval is uh, such a uh, an unexpected decision from FDA, which actually attract a lot of criticism. However, uh, for BIIB, if you have a lotto on that day, uh, the stock price jumped from 270 to 468. Uh, so prob probably you're going to return uh, to three, um, 20 or 30,000 uh, percent if you have some long call option lottos. So a really big movement since that's the first class of drug against Alzheimer's that can remove something called uh, amyloid uh, beta, which is an um, um, amino acid. Uh, precipitation in the brain cells uh, that found in most of the Alzheimer's patients. And that's what scientists believe by removing this amyloid uh, beta uh, that can cure Alzheimer's uh, disease. And this El uh, Alduhelm is the very first drug that the scientists originally believe that can remove this uh, amyloid beta. Uh, but eventually, actually didn't show up uh, any efficacy. And as we can see on the clinical trial, was it saw the last year, I mean, back to 2021, I was just like, there's no way this drug can get approved. But FDA eventually approved it, and this drug had been released to the market, and Biogen actually charged a really, really high uh, price tag on this drug. Uh, so eventually last year, April, Medicare in the United States officially limits the coverage for this Aduham. Uh, 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 to patients only in clinical trials. So basically, there's no market for this drug, uh, even though FDA um, doesn't uh, take back the approval decision. So Medicare just decided to step out and just stop covering, covering this drug, uh, limited use. And basically, the Medicare official uh, looking at the clinical trial data and the usage of this data uh, for Alzheimer's patient, they just found a lot of safety risks, and this drug doesn't really help patients. Uh, so a lot of criticism on Biogen's price tag on this Aduham and uh, the way they release to the market, etc. So if you're interested, you can Google this. Lots, lots of articles and debates over there. Uh, so we'll come back to the current uh, uh, medicine, uh, Lakem Map. So the previous Alzheimer drugs from Biogen, Aduham, uh, Lakem Map, they both focus on removing amyloid beta, which is uh, amino acid precipitation in human brain cells, like I mentioned. 
Um, so, however, this lecanemab in the clinical trial uh, does show uh, more efficacy compared to Biogen's previous Alzheimer's drug, Aduhem. So things look more promising. That's why uh, a lot of excitement of this drug in the Alzheimer's community. However, uh, there are three cases of um, uh, brain internal bleeding in the clinical trials uh, for this Lacan map. Uh, the last one is actually released back to December uh, last year on December 21st. Uh, the Science uh, Journal actually published this um, article about the third case, uh, the a patient in the Lacan map clinical trial died from the internal brain bleeding. So that means this drug, even though it show efficacy, uh, better compared to the uh, Duham, but does seem to have some serious side effects and potentially have a pretty high risk for the patients uh, in terms of the brain uh, internal ble bleeding. Uh, so we actually make a poll on Twitter uh, to see what people think uh, about this potential FDA outcome tomorrow on the chem map. Uh, so basically we, collect, we are able to collect 57 votes uh, as of now that we're making the video. Uh, most people uh, think 40, about 46% think this drug eventually will get approved. However, there will be a potential black box warning or just a warning saying that there's some potential serious side effect on internal bleeding in the brain. Uh, about 33 of the folders think there will just be approval without any warning. 14% uh, think there will be uh, no approval, not approved. 7% um, think the FDA decision will be delayed. Uh, so we'll have to see what the results uh, will come in out. Uh, a lot of uh, people are asking about when the results will come in out from FDA uh, tomorrow, which is hard to tell. Sometimes it's pre-market, sometimes during the market hour, and we have seen sometimes FDA only announced the results uh, after the market close. So it's really hard to see. And as an option trader, definitely don't want to see that results coming out at the end uh, after the market close. So we have to guess the price action throughout the whole weekend until the um, uh, the Monday market open. So we just have to see. Um, base, basically, our analysis and price action, uh, we think if there's approval without any warning, which we think is highly unlikely, uh, looking at the data that we can um, see from the public data and also the internal bleeding cases that we saw, uh, we believe if this happened, approval without any warning required from FDA, we think BIIB can shoot up uh, to 350 to 370 uh, plus or even higher. Uh, most likely within the case will be FDA will still approve the drug, uh, but will require some warning uh, on the labeling. Uh, if that happens, we believe BIIB will shoot up to 300 to 330. Uh, if the drug is not approved, which we think is less likely, uh, BIIB will drop back to around $200 level, which uh, was the stock price when they were traded uh, when they before they announced the um, positive uh, phase three trials on this Lacan map. So uh, relatively shorter video, uh, hope you enjoy it and make sure to like the video and subscribe our YouTube channel, Money Pick Trading. If you're interested in our Discord community, uh, feel free to check out www.moneypicktrading.com. Also on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook group, or Money Pick Trading also on Reddit. Now it's also Money Pick Trading. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment down below any questions or what you think about this potential outcome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.